Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome guys to yet another incredible video. Today we're going to be comparing the Rode VideoMic Go and the Tackstar SGC598. A $25 microphone versus a $100 microphone. Which is better? Let's find out. So guys, in my hand right now is the Tackstar SGC598. An incredible little microphone for $25. So guys, in a little bit I'm actually going to be hooking both of these mics up to my camera. And if you guys did not know, I'm currently recording on the Canon M50, an incredible little camera that I recently bought. Guys, I love it. Low light shooting, it's great for daylight, it's great for photography. Video and photography is incredible. The audio on it is pretty good. I can't really go wrong with this camera. I cannot recommend it enough. If you guys are looking to buy a camera, this is probably your way to go, depending on if you want to do YouTube or photography. It's incredible for a lot of things, but I already made a separate video based on that, and I'm gonna be making plenty, plenty more. But for right now, the topic of today's video is microphones. So, the Tackstar SGC598 is an incredible little powerhouse for $25 and it definitely compares to bigger, higher-end microphones that you want to mount onto a camera. This thing has an aux input, so you can actually use this on an iPhone or an Android or many other devices that support aux or 3.5 millimeter headphone jack inputs, and this thing is incredible. The sound quality is pretty good. For the price, $25, it's very, very good. So there's actually a couple downsides to this though. Of course, there's gonna be a few downsides if it's $25. The first one being the cable. So the cable is kind of cheap. It doesn't feel terrible, but it is kind of cheap. Now along with that, it's actually fully hooked into the microphone. So if this cable is ever to break, you're kind of screwed. You just gotta buy another one. So luckily it's only $25. You can just easily go buy another one if you have that kind of money. If you've already bought this microphone and it doesn't work, the cable, you, you can't really ever switch it out. You can't ever get a new one. You just gotta buy a whole new microphone, which really, really stinks. Another thing that I have a gripe with is the fact that it requires batteries. So you have to actually go out and get AA batteries. And if you don't use AA batteries in your house, you're not gonna be able to use this, this microphone until you buy them. Another big, big problem I have with it, and this has already happened to me so many times when I tried to record YouTube videos, is the fact that you have to actually turn this thing on to use it. So, instead of you hooking it right up to the camera and immediately it turning itself on, this thing, you have to turn it on yourself. And you can see here, there's a little light that just turned on. That thing, if you forget to turn it on, your camera is not gonna pick up any audio. And I've done that so many times when I've had to re-record videos for YouTube, for Instagram, for whatever. This thing is kind of annoying because you actually have to turn it on beforehand. And if you forget, which I do a lot, you're gonna be without audio for however long you're recording, and then you're gonna have to redo the entire thing. And it really, really gets under your nerves. So the three main big gripes. The fact that it has a battery, external battery, and doesn't run on battery power. The fact that you actually have to turn this thing on rather than it being turned on by itself the moment you plug it in. And the fact that the aux cable is connected, physically connected to it. So, now let's move on to the Rode Video Mic Go. See what's good about that camera, see what the cons are. So guys, this is the Rode Video Mic Go, an incredible little piece of Microphonology, I don't, I don't know what you guys want to call it, but this thing's incredible. And I like quite a few things about it. The things I did not like about the Tackstar SGC598, I like about this thing, because they're different. So, number one, this thing has an aux input, so if you ever break this cable, you can easily put a new one in. They don't, I mean, they don't provide you with a second one, but you're really not gonna need a second one. But the cable itself feels much, much more high quality. It feels thicker. The cabling is definitely thicker with protection. I don't think this thing is gonna break on me anytime soon. Number two that I like about this camera, it does not require an external battery source. It doesn't require an external power. This thing runs on your camera. Now, there is a downside to that. If you have a small camera like the Canon EOS M50, it's gonna be using the battery power and the battery's already not that big in this camera. Now, there is one little thing that I wanna mention and this actually could sway your opinion. This thing hardly uses any battery power. So if you hook it up to your camera, it's barely gonna use any of the battery. And it's, it's incredible, guys. So nice because I barely notice a difference in battery life when I hook this thing up and when it's just running on the built-in mic. And guys, the third thing is the fact that this will automatically turn on the moment that you hook it into your camera. This thing, you don't have to remember to turn it on. It physically doesn't have a switch on it that'll turn it on and off. 
thank goodness. Now, there are a few different things that actually the Tagstar SGC had. Let me show you guys real quick. So guys, as you can see, you can turn it on and off. And this is the Tagstar SGC 598. You can raise it 10 decibels. You can lower 10 decibels back down to zero to have it equal. So personally, if I have a microphone hooked up to my camera, I don't care too much about how it looks. But personally for me, the Rode VideoMic Go has a much more professional look to it than this. I don't know about you guys, it's also much, much longer. So I'm actually, you can see there's an extra three inches basically on the Tackstar. This thing just sticks out an extra three inches on my tiny little camera, the Canon EOS M50. This thing is basically a YouTube vlogger's dream. And I can't wait to use this thing more out in the field when I'm making YouTube videos outside. This thing is just my way to go. Luckily, they both have built-in windscreens as well. So you don't need like a pop filter windscreen. They both come with that. They're both gonna cut out the plosives, the peas. But now, let's get to the part of the video that's fun, guys. Let's hook these bad boys up to the camera so you can hear the difference between them. Alrighty, so guys, you are currently listening to audio from the Tagstar SGC598. I'm a good three feet away from the microphone right now and I'm talking pretty loudly. So I'm projecting my voice and people downstairs in my house can definitely hear me. I'm, I'm making it pretty loud right now. I'm not gonna edit the audio at all. I'm not gonna make it louder. I'm not gonna make it quieter. I'm not gonna equalize it, nothing. This is the Tagstar SGC598 and this is just an audio test for you guys to see what it sounds like. Now, if you guys want me to go out into the open, do a wind test and have it outside with a lot of wind and just basically do a nature test, I can definitely test both of these microphones and you guys can see exactly what they sound like. Well, not see, but hear exactly what they sound like. Of course, guys, like I said, I do have a very big gripe with this microphone. It's the fact that you actually have to turn it on and it doesn't turn on by itself when you plug it into the mic. That's probably my biggest gripe because I've forgotten to record audio and if you're ever going to be using this for a professional shoot, if you're ever going out into the open and you just, you need to do something professionally and you forget to turn on this microphone, you're going to look terrible guys. And it's not only that, you're not going to have any audio, but if you guys feel that you're going to remember every time to turn on the microphone, feel free to pick this one up. Now let's switch on over to the Rode VideoMic Go and see how different it sounds. Alrighty, so guys, you are now hearing the audio on the Rode VideoMic Go. Hopefully it sounds a little better than what the Tackstar SGC598 did, but you're not really paying too much for the sound quality because they're both gonna sound about the same. The Tackstar SGC598 sounds about the same as the Rode VideoMic Go, but you're paying that extra $75 for extra features. I'm not sure if it's still $100 on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's still $100. At the time of making this video, it's $100, but I'm not uploading this video for like another couple days anyway. So the price could definitely increase. It could definitely decrease. You guys can check the link down below. It's gonna be for Amazon. You can check out both of these microphones, see which one you like more. But there's a few things that I definitely like about the Rode Video Mic Go over the Tackstar SGC598. And that's why I'm going to be selling my microphone, the Tackstar, because this Rode Video Mic Go is just, it's better in every way. And audio quality, it's about the same. But if you're gonna be using it for professional shooting, you don't have to remember to turn on the uh, microphone. You don't need an external battery. It starts right up the moment it's plugged in. It's using the power from the camera. And it just, it feels better. Whereas the Tackstar, it's hard plastic. The Rode VideoMic Go has a, a form of suspension. It has a suspension system which will pick up a lot of the shakes and it won't let it be relayed into the audio that you're using. So if you're gonna be walking around with your camera and you have the Rode VideoMic Go hooked up, it's gonna pick up a lot of those shakes and just completely get rid of them. It's like in a new car. If you have a new car, the suspension's gonna be a lot better, a lot softer than if you were in an older car, most likely. And it'll pick up those shakes a lot better so you won't feel them, it'll be smoother. Whereas with this, it's hard plastic. There's no form of suspension dampening for the audio. There's none of that on this microphone. So you're gonna be paying extra because you get extra features. Whereas this thing, you're gonna have to spend a little extra. You have to buy more batteries. You know, you have to remember to turn on the microphone. It has an external battery. It's just, this thing is great for YouTubers because it's cheap and it's a great starter microphone. They both sound great. I'm still sitting three feet away from the microphone. They both sound about the same. It's just this one has a few quirks and features. This one 
has solved those quirks and features. So let me know what you guys want to pick up down below. If you guys already own one of them, let me know your opinions. If you think this one is better than the road video might go, be sure to let me know and why. Why do you think this is better than that? For $25, this is an incredible microphone though. But thank you guys all so much for watching. It's been Mikey. Peace guys.